Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackbird, and today I'm going to show you another lighting effect that you can add into your scene, and it's an actual effect that's generated, and it's called CC Light Rays. And this is kind of like a, a combination of all the other um, lighting effects that I wanted to show you, and it kind of creates like a middle uh, point with a light source on it, and it kind of acts almost like a point light, but it has rays and um, it has a center and all that stuff. So I want to show you um, what's going on here. I have an adjustment layer created, and then I have a couple like outlines just to have a logo created in the middle here. And uh, those are shape layers. And um, everything is in a 2D workspace right now, and um, I don't even need to have these 3Ds turned on. I'll turn those right off and then I just have a picture as the background and everything is all 2d there's no cameras on or anything like that so let's uh, go into our adjustment layer and I will show you the light right here which is actually in the middle in this area here I'm gonna I'll turn it off real quick to show you what it looks like before and then I add the light rays to it and uh, this is the after and I've got the the radius up really high so and the intensity up high so it's like blowing out the uh, light in there so I got a more intense effect in the back so I'm gonna delete this out and show you how to use this uh, effect to enhance the lighting that is already uh, uh, made it in the scene by like a picture or something like that so let's go to effect generate and then we wanna go to CC light rays and this is what you get starting out is this just this little dot here so we need to adjust settings to make it um, a little bit more intense or something like that if I bring it over top of a, of a light source it already makes it more intense and the way you can move this is just by clicking on this dra uh, crosshair here and dragging it so you can bring it to wherever you want and because of the transfer mode that we have on which is add over here it, uh, it adds to however bright something already is. So another way to move this is to um, go over here in the center property up here in your effect, click on this um, crosshair button, and now you can place it wherever you want. I personally just like grabbing and dragging because it's, uh, I don't know, it's just easier and more interactive. So we've got that there. I'm gonna move it over here over on the clouds so we can see a little better what is going on with our um, uh, our effect. So we've got our intensity here, and that's just going to increase how how bright it is. So there's a lot of intensity, and then here's just like a little, and here's nothing. So that's the intensity there. And wherever you're going to put it, that's you're going to base your intensity on on that uh, area. So I'm just going to keep it at 100 for now. We've got our radius which is going to be like how uh, much around how big around it is so that's radius as you can see as I'm doing this I'll zoom in a little more this is a hundred percent down here as you can as I increase the radius you can see like light rays coming um, forward and you can see how that might be used as like a warping kind of effect like you're warping in like space or something like that so there's um, a type of effect you can use. You see that? It looks like the rays are moving. So kind of like in Star Wars when they do the light speed effect, you can do something kind of like that and use this as part of your effect. Let's put that back around 50. Now we've got the warp softness. And uh, that's going to be what the actual hotspot looks like. So if I move the softness down, the hotspot is going to get a little bigger and um, a little more uh, warped and then as I increase the softness it's going to become less until it gets down to nothing and then if I let me increase the radius a little bit more and then I can increase the warp softness more and uh, that gives also like a kind of like a warping out effect so we've got that going on now we've got our shape here we got two shapes round and square now that's just up to your preference of which one you, know, you would like. There's nothing too much going on about that. 
but when you switch to square you also are allowed to change direction here and you can see how you can rotate this one here so I mean, that's the difference between square and round and of course the shape of it you can adjust your warp softness to get like a more of a like a circular shape and then you can change the direction like that so there's uh, some examples there I'm gonna go back to round and increase decrease this warp softness we've got a couple checkboxes here color from source and I'll just watch as what happens when I uncheck that now it's pretty much just coloring on its own and not using background information to um, de to determine how bright it's going to be and the color of the actual um, light ray like the center of it so if I hit color from source it's going to take the blue color from these clouds and add so if I come over here uh, to the brown here it will um, take more of like a brownish and a yellow in this uh, instance here and then we got the brown light rays coming off here so that's what the color from source means and you can see how this interacts with the um, different um, with the different uh, types of layers that you have in your uh, scene here. If I uh, make it pass through these trees, same type here. So you can see how you might be able to create like a sunset kind of look on, based on these trees. So, and then you can see all the rays and everything like that. So that's how it like goes with that. And then we've got the allow brightening button. And I will check that and uncheck that a few times. So let's go across everything with the allow brightening button up here. Now basically, I mean, I, it kind of decreases how bright this is and things like that. So just got a small effect on what's going on. So we've got our color here, which uh, we can't use um, with the color from source on. But if I uncheck it, then I can uh, color the uh, actual light rays or the actual light and everything like that so you can add like a color to your scene and um, make it kind of like different colored and whatever as you get the idea here so now all my stuff is a little bit more blue and it's not going to um, color from like my brown logos here it's going to just stay blue colored as you can see so this is with color from source on and this is with color from source off now we've got our transfer mode here and we've got uh, three different ones none is going to do uh, nothing pretty much and heck, it's going to just keep the light source at its on but it still interacts with the background as you can see even though the background isn't showing anymore. Now we've got lighten, which is um, going to be just like the lighten on our blending modes, or it's just going to lighten up a bit, a bit, a bit. And I've noticed that when I use this, the rays aren't very uh, large or anything like that. And you can see how it affects uh, these uh, layers now. Kind of gives them like warping, and it's, it's using the uh, lightning blending mode to um, work with these different uh, logos and everything like that then we've got screen which kinda is a more broad uh, effect and it lightens up the whole entire screen almost well it lightens up the whole entire comp almost not I shouldn't say screen but here's with a uh, add-on and here's with screen on so it's a more subtle than add as you can see there and then here's lighten I'm just going through these so you can see how they affect each other or how they are uh, different in their effects so there we go I think uh, add is probably like the coolest one because it um, pretty much adds the, to the brightness and everything like that so um, there's how you use your um, CC light rays it's a pretty cool effect and uh, there's third-party plugins that kind of emulate this but it, this is, I think this one is uh, pretty cool within itself. And now that you know how to use it, it's pretty, pretty decent and can help you 
create some like cool, really cool looking effects in your scene. So that's about it for the CC light rays there. And um, pretty soon we'll, I'll be making a cool project utilizing the different lighting techniques and everything like that. And then the fake lighting effects like the CC light rays and the CC light sweep and all that stuff. So thanks for watching this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you in next uh, in like a future tutorial where we put together everything and make something really cool. So I'll see you guys then. And in the meantime, keep on messing around with uh, your effects and playing around with them and seeing what other kind of cool effects you can make. You know, like the possibilities are pretty much... Uh, they're not endless, but they're pretty close because everybody's always thinking creatively of how to use these different things. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.